Bees have two large compound eyes and three small simple eyes called ocelli. This video, however, is just about the compound eyes. Like most insects, these eyes are made up of many individual units, each of which produces a dot of brightness and colour in the bee's vision, so that the combined eyes produce a mosaic of dots, rather like the pixels of a digital camera. The worker bees each have about 5,000 of these units, whereas the drone's eyes have about 10,000. If we look at each of these units, it consists of a hexagonal lens, some of which have a hair between the lens and its neighbour. The continuous sheet of lenses is known as the cornea. Within the hexagon, each lens is transparent, with an opaque area between each lens. Each of these thousands of lenses focuses light from a small arc down to the cells beneath. This diagram shows the arrangement of the cells beneath the lens. Each of these groups of cells is known as an omatidium and is responsible for one specific spot of light and colour. If we follow a beam of light as it passes through the lens, it next encounters the crystalline cone. This is a transparent structure made up of four cells which directs the light down to a long thin structure where the actual light sensitive cells are found. The light passes down the narrow centre known as the rhabdom between long thin cells known as retinular cells. Eight retinular cells surround the rhabdom with a ninth cell also present at the lower end of the omatidium. The structure of the rhabdom is quite complex. Each of the eight retinular cells has microscopic projections which pass into the rhabdom so that the rhabdom consists of a mesh of these projections overlapping each other. These projections contain a light sensitive chemical so that light hitting this chemical initiates an electrical pulse from the retinular cell affected. This impulse is then transmitted by that particular retinular cell by a fine nerve which passes through the base of the eye, the basement membrane, and into the optic lobe of the brain, first into the medulla and then with connections beyond that to the lobula and beyond. It is important that the retinular cells in each omatidium are only activated by light coming in through the lens for that particular omatidium and are not affected by light entering into neighbouring omatidia. To make sure that light does not spread from one unit to another, each omatidium is surrounded by fine pigment granules in pigment cells. These confine the light to that specific omatidium. It is these pigment cells which give the eyes of the bee their distinctive colour. Each individual omatidium is sensitive to the full range of colours within the bee's spectrum. We know that the bee's spectrum is focused on shorter wavelengths than the human eye so that the bee can see ultraviolet light which we cannot but cannot really see red that we can. The colour vision of bees is produced by a combination of three specific colour signals in much the same way as the image on a television screen or in a digital photograph is made entirely from a mixture of three particular colours. Of the nine cells in the each omatidium, three are sensitive to light in the ultraviolet range, two to light in the blue range, and four to light in the green range. The combination of different signals from the retinular cells allows the bee to sense the colour 
of the light entering that omitidium. In total, the worker has about 10,000 omitidia between the two eyes. If we think of that in the same way as a digital camera, then that would be the equivalent of a 10 kilopixel camera, which would really produce a very coarse image. In the same way, the bee's vision is much coarser than a human eye. The human can see a hundred times the detail that a bee's eye can. However, where the bee's eye is superior to the human eye is in its ability to see movement. The human eye cannot really see an image which changes, see new images faster than 30 times a second. This is why cinefilm is seen as a moving image rather than as a series of photographs and why fluorescent light appears continuous rather than a series of flashes 50 times per second. The bee's eye, however, can see 150 images or more per second in each omitidium, and this allows it to be very sensitive to movement. Despite its poor resolution, the bee's eye is entirely adequate for navigation over several miles, avoiding obstacles, finding flowers, and finding its way back to the right hive.